Welcome to Tales from the Potting Shed. Here we are around the back and looking at the tomatoes. And as usual, um, we've got a few tomatoes here, but I've started picking already. And there are three that I've got off here already. Now, if I just place those down there, what I'm going to do is look, there's one there that I think, I think that's about ready. Um, that one, I'm not sure whether I should leave them. I might leave them just one more day. Uh, oh, I don't know though. No, do you know what? I'm not. I'm going to pick that one. So that's four tomatoes. Um, four tomatoes today. And I'll leave that one for tomorrow. So that's amazing. And then just looking across... Uh, we've got again more tomatoes uh, growing up uh, out of there and likewise uh, we've got tomatoes all there right that's all just leave those tomatoes there for a second um, as we look through and see what we can see there's our lovely sunflower look at our sunflower there that's amazing lovely sunflower with a bumblebee on oh beautiful it's attracting a bumblebee which is great um so let's just have a look in the um forest of courgettes um oh my goodness me look at that one. Oh, sorry you can't see it's not easy to be the cameraman in the wild look at that look at that monster so that's one courgette let's just have a look um, oh my goodness me, another one. They are enormous. Sorry, you can't see again. It's it's a forest in here. It's like being out in the Amazon. Look at that. That's a monster. Um, I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to hold uh, courgettes as well as uh, looking. There's a few more to come. There's one down there, probably going to have a couple more days. Um, oh no, I've dropped it. I've dropped the courgette. Oh. I think there was a game Cracker Jack in Cracker Jack where if you drop things you've got a cabbage to hold. Well, I've got a courgette. Look at those monsters. Look at that. And I've not got little hands. So <laughs> right, let's have a look at what else we've got out here. Um, that's the neighbour's side. Uh, it's looking okay. It's nicely watered. Um, especially after the rain last night, which was a real downpour. Uh, but it's done well. So let's just have a quick... Um, run by and see what else we've got um ooh, oh look 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 oh it's another is that a cute no it's not a cucumber it's a courgette there look all right massive courgette in there oh no hang on it says yes courgette black so that's a black courgette they're coming up uh that's the other thing i need to do i've forgotten check on the cucumber just a minute, let me put this down. Oh. Wow, now we're back. Oh, look, they're still a bit prickly, so I think it's still got a little bit of uh, time to go. Look at that, though, that's interesting. Those little ones, which I think they've not grown, they've died. And I wonder if that's because I've got these big ones still growing. Um, and do you know what? That, I think, is my only cucumber tree which is really quite, our cucumber plant, which is really quite sad because we love the cucumbers. Um, I think one of the lessons I'm learning from all of this is next year, it's gonna be, what do we actually eat? Um, and what do we want a lot of? Uh, and then the other thing, and I'll, I'll break this as well. Here we are with the beds. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm thinking, because we're gonna have a few all along here, there they are, just under there, going to have a few along here when I move them and also put some down there what I think I'm going to do is have almost like a uh, a monthly bed and grow hopefully grow things like you know uh, cucumbers um, 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 carrots that sort of thing and then they'll all be ready you know the ones here will be ready in July ready in August that sort of thing and anyway that's it for now um, uh, yes, thank you very much for watching and uh, another day of, of picking, which is, is fantastic. Um, I'm, I must admit, I do, I do still struggle to think that 
I've actually grown anything. As I said, I've never grown anything before. I remember a great story. Many, many years ago, there was um, my son, when he was a tiny, tiny lad, uh, said to me, oh, can we grow some stuff? And we, we sort of turned over a bit of the garden and we started growing some uh, carrots. And trust me, there was nothing. There was just like little tiny, thin, weedy things. Uh, orange weedy things that we ended up with not carrots at all so we that was a failure this time it's just looking fantastic and it's looking like we're really really going to have um, a fantastic time and and also it's been enjoyable it's been fantastically enjoyable to see it uh, and I'm still I'm still you know overjoyed when I see things uh, coming out of the uh, of the ground like this you know, to think that, maybe not those because they would give us a present, but certainly, come on back. When I look at these, these were all grown from a few seeds. We end up with uh, uh, great uh, loads and loads of tomatoes. I, I'm, it's amazing and I love it. And it, I'm, I must confess, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting tired of, of the joy of finding things grown uh, and picking them. It's lovely. Anyway, sorry for rambling, but uh, I do love this gardening thing. Uh, and um, thank you very much for watching.